Damn, sweet, this shit crazy.
Damn, sweet, this shit crazy. side awesome put my headphones out mic check one two mic check one two family mic check one two let me just make this a bit bigger there we go mic check one two mic check one two can you guys hear me loud and clear happy hump day Hump day. If you guys can hear me loud and clear, run it up. I see a lot of green in the chat, which I love. Um, I see a lot of people up in here as well, too, man. Thank you guys so freaking much for waking up nice and early for your boy BG and walking and waking and walking and going to work and just living life and just being positive and just all that good, good, man. Oh, my gosh. I feel it. I feel it. We got Mario. What's up? Good morning, family chat. MBG. Good morning, Mario. Jasmine, what's up? Mass of Daytona. Mr. Abby's up in the building. Matt is up in the building. New Kicks is up in the building. Josh is up in the building. Stacking Kicks. We got JVRMC up in the building. Who else is up in the building? Strictly. AP, what's going on? FP Woman Dunks and Nike app. Is that for today or what's up? Let me know. You said SBs? You said SBs? Where at? Because I'm not seeing them. You guys are going to have to help me out on this one. Now, if we're talking about the women thunk lows, these are not SBs. But if you find some SBs, let me know. We could definitely go for it. Yucker, uh, Yellow Orchard's already dropped, right? Question mark? No, they're about to drop top of the hour, if I'm not mistaken, for exclusive access, JD, and finish line. But we'll definitely see what the vibes are with that. Um, but the initial release should be for Saturday. It should be for Saturday. Sosa, what's up? Harvey, what's up? Uh, Desmond, what's up, baby? Um, he's dropping the AO. Good morning, BGM family. What's going on? Dude, what is going on today? Today we got a lot of green in the chat. I love to see it. I love to see the green up in the chat. Makes me, It makes the chat pop up nice and clear, man. I appreciate that. Rob, what's up? Good morning. Color J, what's up? What up, big one? What's going on? Nike app, not sneakers. Interesting on that. Hold up. AP is giving us a nice little... Hold up. Um, SB Dunk Low. When is this going to go down? You said... You said SB though, right? Nike SB Force. Nike SB... Where are we seeing this SB? You guys may have to send me a screenshot. 
This is the first one. I've never seen anything go down with SB for uh for Nike yet, but I'm not seeing it. I am not seeing it. Does anybody else see what AP seen? Cause this is the first time I hear from it. Are we sure? Are you sure green equals money? Green does equal money, man. That does. It support us, man. It makes me wake up. It makes me stay on here, to be honest. Yeah, it, it's helpful, man. Or else I'd be working at a 9 to 5 right now. Or doing something else, for sure. You guys are supporting the channel 1,000%. I'd be lying. I'd be lying to you guys if I said uh, you guys weren't, man. You guys are supporting so freaking much. Indigo, what's up? Good morning, good morning, Indigo. Um... Crypto, what's up? Daytona, what's up, baby? Daytona, how you feeling, man? How you been, man? SB Zoom Blazer look cool. They on Stinkers app. Hold up, hold up. I am so confused right now because AP saying that there's SB Dunks on Nike yet, but I'm not seeing anything with that going down. What else? Is there any? I don't see anything, man. My, my Stinkers app must be cooked then. <laughs> Hey, BG, I'm going to keep it real, famo. Da, da, da. Oh, my gosh. Vermeer 5, how you feeling, brother, man? Seems like some people are just waking up nice and nice and early. I'm cooling. That's great to hear, man. If you guys are cooling, if you guys are vibing, man, that's amazing. What are you guys down for, uh, or what are you guys up to for Wednesday? Anybody have anything interesting for Wednesday? Um, the only thing that we are going to be going live for today should be for the dunk clothes that are loaded up on Sneakers app. And then we got yellow orcas that should be going live within like a couple of minutes for top of the hour. So nothing too crazy. Um, I've been dropping you guys a lot of shorts as of late. I don't know if you guys have been tapping in on those. But we could definitely go over what we've been tapping in with on the shorts for sure. Um, Mario, what's up, man? Good morning. Dude, what is going on today? Today is packed with just green. Like, I'd love to see it. I'd love to see the chat like this. Thank you guys so much. Team Zero, what's up? Ayo, hey, good morning, BG fam. Good morning, Finno, uh, working Ghost Watch. Um, yeah, sh shout out to you guys on that one, man. If you guys are Ghost Watching up here, shout out to you guys. If you guys smash that like button, appreciate you guys as well, too. If you guys don't mind, smash it up real quick. We got about five more minutes. I mean, I said five more minutes. We got about five more likes to reach. Uh, 40 likes up in the building, so if you guys don't mind, smash it up. Um, yesterday for your boy BG, there was a huge, like, I want to say storm, but it was ugly outside. Yesterday, I was rocking my Gratitude 11s, and I was just taking them outside because it was raining like cats and dogs, and it was just windy, and it just looked like there was, like, a whole flat-out storm going down. So I decided to take them out so I can clean them up a bit because they were tight dirty. Um... But uh, it was a lit, it was a lit time yesterday, man. We we did a nice little vlog at the building. I wanted, I wanted to do more vlog styles of like what I do on a daily basis. I don't know if you guys want to watch. Um, actually, I don't think I can. I don't think I can put it up without their permission. So I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna ask permission if I could pop up like any vlogs that we do at work, so that way you guys can see as well what I do like on a regular daily basis. But I think it would be kind of fun. Josh, what's up? Tommy, what's up? What's up, everyone? Good morning. Good morning, Tommy. Smack Gamer, what's up? Good morning, BG. These days been whack as F with the drops. You know, Gamer, um, Smack Gamer, it's it's a January. It's January. There's not much that goes down on January usually. That's because December is always so packed up that they give us like a breather. <laughs> they give us like, they we, we need a breather of just, just chillness just to save up some money so we can get ready and reload and like respend. You know, that's what it is, man. Januarys are usually like that all the time. They're like that. Last January was really dry. I think January last January looked even drier than this ja uh, than this January. <laughs> um, all right, good morning, sis. How you feeling? Mario, what's up? Word BG. It was flooding out here in LI. I didn't know it was flooding out there, man. That sucks, man. If there is any type of flooding going on around your neck of the woods, man, uh, prayer is up, man. You guys never know how bad it gets, man. You guys never know. I did. It did rain a lot. It did rain a lot up here, but no signs of flooding in my area. At least, I guess, because I live upper. I live in like the like the the higher ups of of the abs, but. Um, Maybe it could be different for like the lower abs or something. Cause I live higher up. I think I told you guys I live like on the hill. Like it's like anything that does go down for flooding, it'll just drop down to the bottom of the abs. So like I typically don't get floodings on this specific area where I'm at, um, which is good, which is really good. But it doesn't 
That doesn't mean it doesn't get crazy up in here for sure. Um, let's see. BGB beating his shoes up? Yeah, man. I mean, for the the majority of stuff that I rock, I can show you guys what I rock for like my daily like my daily beaters. You guys want to see that? I mean, I feel like I've already spoke about it, but I can definitely pop up what I use on the daily basis that I just don't give a rat's butt. Like, I don't care what happens to these shoes because I feel like at some point in time, I need to just rock some shoes that I feel like don't, like, it's okay to rock them. Like, they're just shoes, you know? I got some sneakers, obviously, that I keep nice and neat, but, like, there's specific shoes that I feel like I can just wear them and not care what happens and just, yeah, on to the next shoe, you know? on Just... Yeah, because then I'm just going to be storing up shoes for the rest of my life. What am I supposed to do with that? Um, okay, so... Shit, where the heck you had? All right, so here's one of them. All right. I think you guys seen this one. Um, the Laney Fives. I've actually rocked this pair maybe about, what, like two to three different times already at the job. But I'm going to start pulling it off a bit more just because... Sorry, I had like a little some some. Um, I'm gonna start rocking a bit more just because it's getting older now. I think this pair is like what I can't recall if it's from like back in 20 I can't remember I can't remember how old this pair is. It's it's definitely older than some of the kids that I watch at the job um, um Let me just see And I'm curious on how much the resale is looking like for these bad boys Wow, they really got the Stanley and Tumblr Cubs ready to go StockX is not playing Everyone, even DSG is starting to load up Stanley Cups. We're not loading them up, but they're starting to promote more on the Stanley Cup wave. So, don't be surprised. Just because it's Stanley Cup doesn't necessarily mean it's profitable. All right, family? Just giving you guys a heads up. We'll talk more about that later on. Um, Laney Fives. Let me just see real quick. Shout out to the 79 up in the building. We got Laney Fives up in there. When's the last time Laney Fives dropped? They dropped when? Yeah, 2019. So it's been a good minute. So this is it right here. The Laney Fives. It could be. Why does that? Yeah, no, it should be. It should be. I haven't had this one for too long. But yeah. um, We got the Laney Fives that I rock on the regular, regular basis. I've only rocked it three times, but I'm going to start pulling them off for this year. Um, Yeah, it's still nice and neat condition. It's still somewhat icy. But it's starting to get a little bit more darker toned up in there. So you guys know how I feel about that. I might have to like clean them up and whatnot. Um, I think I've already mentioned before that I do have Jordan 2s. All right. In this white and red colorway. And clearly I beat this one up like no tomorrow. Let me show you guys the side of this sneaker. Hold up. Let me show you guys the side. Bam. All right. Look at all that. That's like bleeding. That's like scratches. That's everything that you guys need to do for your sneakers. You know, just let them go. And this is, like, durable as, like, crazy. Like, Jordan 2s are durable as heck. At least this one is. This one is so durable that, like, you, it's built like a tank. You guys can go through it all on this one, and it'll still survive. It's the bottoms of the Jordan 2s. But not bad on that. Um, Let me see what else we got going on. Let me see. These are just flat-out beaters that no matter what happens... um. No matter what happens, it's okay. Like, we can just get another pair or we, we'll we just start moving on to the another um, red and white. I'm pretty sure. Jordan 2 Chicago. Jordan 2 Highs. How come I can't find that one? We'll find it. We shall find it. We shall find that Jordan 2. Someone called 911. Twos are meant to be beat up. Yeah, twos are nice. Twos are nice. I'm telling you guys right now, man, I feel like I'm the only person that rocks twos. And there's a two coming up, too. Um, I think it might be for this month or next month. I can't recall. Um, but they're not bad, fam. When you guys know how to rock them, ah, here they are. This one's from 2014. So as you guys see, we got older pairs up in there. Um, they feel comfy. Um, I mean, the they're heavy. They're heavy, and they do feel comfy like the... They're, I don't know how to explain it, man, but they are comfy, though. They're, they're thick and padding. That's what I got to say. They're thick and padding. I wouldn't put them as up there as more comfy than the newer ones that we've seen. I wouldn't put them as comfy, but these are already broken in like crazy, so maybe that's why it feels good, but they're heavy. I'll give you guys that. They're definitely heavy, and they're very bulky. Um, 
But yeah, this is a pair that I've had for quite some time too. So, so what's up, Dads? What's up? Uh, got my reverse Grinches on the way and uh, caught the pair of Pine Green SBs on go. Had some extra cash and been wanting them. Nice. Congrats. Anybody else? Um, Hot Gold, what's up? Wait, what's dropping? You guys got the Yellow Orcas dropping top of the hour and then you guys got some Dunk Lows going down. Don't forget to hit that like button again and again. Brian, I appreciate you 1000%. Shout out to the 99 up in the building, baby. If you guys don't mind, keep on smashing it up like Brian is saying, man. I appreciate you. Roberto, what's up? Hey, yo, good freaking morning, BGM family. What up? What's going on, Roberto? Mr. Abby, what's up? Bad storms last night, no power, and I'm sitting in the dark. Mr. Abby, I'm sorry to hear that. They've been saying that there's going to be some power outages coming through. Um, Hot Gold, what's up, baby? Thank you so much for the new sub up in here, man. Hot Gold, if you have any other questions, please ask away, man. Um, JoJo Dancer, what's up? Need this break to get the bread back up. Yeah, that's a freaking fact. Um, if you guys are going through anything... If you guys are going through anything with power outages, man, I'm sorry to hear that, man. I know it's that time of the year where we're going to get crazy storms and stuff. So please keep that positivity alive, man. I'm sure it's only going to be for temporary. And I hope you guys start charging everything as much as possible. I was literally going to drop you guys a story saying that I could have an outage myself. But it seems like the news is just, you know, hyping it up for my area just to like, you know, just for the ratings or something. But um, I hope not. I really do hope not. Um... Let me just see what else I got going on as beaters. All right, I think I've already showed you guys. I think I've already showed you guys this one. But this one right here is going to be like a new basketball beater for sure. Um, I use this on the regular, regular basis uh, just because of how comfy they are. So as much as they look awful for you guys, the Yeezy Quantums are actually one of the comfier Yeezys that I've ever worn. And I think that's why I still have it to this day. Because if it wasn't as comfy, I probably wouldn't have kept it. But um, I took the laces off as well, too, because I feel like it gives it a more of a slick, slip-on look. Um, I can rock this with almost any type of sweatpants, and it still looks really good on me. So I typically rock them with gray sweatpants and then throw these on, and it gives it, like, I don't know, some kind of, again, some kind of Yeezy, Fear of God-ish, vibe-ish to the outfit, if you guys know what I'm saying. And then, um, yeah, so this is the Quantum basketball sneaker up in here. We don't really see a lot of people, got, um, a lot of people rocking these, so um, not that, but... Yeah, I do pull this on off on the regular, regular basis. I don't have to worry about creasing at all. Probably the only thing that I have to worry about is getting this suede dirtied up. But, I mean, again, if it is a beater, who the heck cares, right? Um, but not bad, man. Not bad at all. This is a size 10 and a half. And I would probably say that this is probably a true to size sneaker right up in here. So, not too bad. So, I rock the Quantums in this. I forgot what colorway. I forgot what colorway your boy be popping off those quantums, but again, very weird thing. I know, right? It's kind of weird that you guys see different type of, but quantums, and I threw away the box on those too. Um, I can't tell you guys for sure what colorway this one is. I'm trying to see. I'm curious if it's, nah, I think it might be, does anybody know that colorway? Could it be the C teal? I'm curious. Could it be the C teal or could it be the teal blues? It's either teal blues or seal teal. Is this one it? No, this one's got a bit more of a blue vibe to it on the top. But yeah, we'll just leave this one here. But clearly no one really appreciates quantums like that to begin with because I feel like they're way under retail. Or maybe that or they're just too overly priced up at retail. Retail is two fifty, which is pretty expensive. So I remember I picked this one up for right around one fifty. So not too bad. Brand new too, so um I can't complain whatsoever. But yeah, nothing too crazy on this one. But again, this is not the same colorway. This is not the same colorway. This one's got a bit of blue on the on the sides. Uh, Bernard, what's up? Good morning, famo. Um, any d updates on the Air Jordan 4 breads or prediction date? Mario, you guys should know February 17th, but if you guys are talking about shot drop, again, I don't want to say it's confirmed, but if we are anticipating a shot drop, it should be within a couple of weeks, so we're assuming that it's going to be probably the last week of January. Again, I did drop you guys a video. If you guys want to watch that on YouTube, you guys definitely can. Good morning, Biggie G. Good morning, Bernard. Bruce, what's up? Ayo, good morning, BG. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go, baby. Um, 
Let's see. Jay, what's up, baby? Good morning. The famous RH, what's up? Dez, what's up? I'm from Australia, and it's just hot over here, like 100 degrees Fahrenheit, like almost every day. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. As of right now, with this cold weather, I wish it was 100 degrees, man. I miss the weather. I miss that hot, blazing weather where I can just rock shorts all day long and just get a tan, bro. Literally. Literally, bro. All right, so here's another beater that you guys probably seen on the regular regular. This one I can pull off with almost everything, and it's a high top. So, yeah, I like the high top version of things. So, you guys got Panda Dunk Highs, all right? This one right here, easy beater. You guys can rock it with anything. And like I said before, it just goes with almost everything, fam. So, you guys are good to go with this one. You guys can literally throw on anything, cover the, cover the, top, uh, the top if you guys are rocking jeans or something, and then boom. You guys are good to go. So, you guys got pandas up in there. You guys can't go wrong with some good old panda dunk highs. I feel like I've been had these before. The resale value depreciated for panda dunks. All right. Because I don't think panda dunks are going that high, anyways. Um, you guys got the black and white highs from 2021. And then, yeah, they're going right below. Yeah, they're going way below retail. So, you guys are good to go. These are 115 retail. So, I believe that. They're going right around that 96, even being sold at 75 bucks. So not surprised on that one right then and there. But yeah, you got these. I rock these all the time. As you guys see, it got some like nice little fun, nice little like, I don't know what the heck that is, but got some stuff on the bottoms of it. So a nice little beater. I know you guys probably have your fair share of pandas up in there in the collection. Let me know in the chat if you guys got a panda up in there. Um, hey BG, you still have a discount code for BV boxes? Yeah, use B uh BG Kicks 20. Jose, use BG Kicks 20 for BV boxes. I got you guys right here if you guys do need them. Again, they made new boxes up in there that look nice and neat, family. If you guys don't mind, make sure you guys go ahead and run it up with BV box. Um, I'm not getting paid whatsoever for dropping you guys the code, but at least it's the best code that you guys can use um as of right now, which is 20% off of anything. And as you guys see, we matched their code as well too but preferably use our code and maybe use their code as well too so maybe you can get like 40 percent off of some sort but here you guys go and then just use bg kicks all one word and then 20 and then the number 20 and you guys should be good that should still be working um it's the best code that you guys can use as of right now for bv box and again you'll get hooked up with nice and neat boxes like they hooked up your boy bg on the left side and on the right side as well too well you guys can't see the boxes from the bottoms but um Everything that you guys see there is BV Box. And again, top tier quality. And you guys can stack them up and nothing's happening when you guys stack them up. Notice how these are stacked up and they're heavy sneakers too. They're heavy sneakers too. Notice how, let me show you guys. Notice how for BV Box, man, shout out to BV Box once again. Notice how everything is stacked up and I even have my book bag. I got sneakers. All right, I got sneakers up in here that are just right over these. I got my fours. I got my Jordan 1 stacked up. I mean, you guys can't really do wrong with a, with a pair of boxes that just stay put. Like, there's nothing stopping this from, like, breaking or anything like that. Like, you guys are good. You guys are pretty much good. Or nothing's going to be able to break this up in here unless, like, I don't know. Like, I can't really think about it, man. This is, like, pretty good, man. It's sturdy and nice and neat. And I actually still have space left to keep on popping up the uh the boxes like i haven't like installed all the boxes we got like a good four or three that can still pop up and i just left it like this just because they're self-installed and then there's ones that you guys back box it up manually or like pack them up manually the self-installed ones i don't know if you guys can see that but there's like white right here white and white this is a self-installed one where i just lift it up and then i just uh lock it where it stays put as like a box if that makes sense i'll show you guys later on how it's done though i'll show you guys how it's done later on whenever we do receive another one but uh these are the manual the manual ones that um i installed it live and then this is the self-install ones self-install ones are so much easier you just lift them up and then you lock them and then they stay as a box and then they just stay like there for each and every single one it's like a whole stack pretty dope pretty that's the one that blue widow spider won the self-install one so that's pretty dope um yeah, we got that. BG, what's your favorite SB? Don't say Jordan 4 SB is LOL. True SB. A tr my favorite SB, um, that's a great question right there because I don't really like SBs like that. 
Um, so I don't typically tap in with SBs, but one of my favorite SBs are, let me show you guys right here. I don't even know the name off the rip. SB Dunk Low. The SB Dunk Lows that really tap in with your boy BG. Um, it's, I think it might be Strange Loves. The Strange Loves. Have you guys ever heard of them or have you guys owned a pair of Strange Loves? Yeah, these are it right here. These are one of my favorite SBs. If not, it might be it might be up there as my favorite SB. It might be. Again, it's got red. It's got that velvet vibe to it. It's got some pink. Can't go wrong with it. It looks nice and neat, man. It's a beautiful looking shoe. It's one of my favorite ones. I can't tell you guys for sure if it is my favorite one of all time, but this is definitely up there in my like best SBs to ever like pop off. It's one of my favorite ones. I, I appreciate it. And that's coming from someone that really doesn't mess with SBs like that. Like, I'll definitely cop an SB if I can. If I like it, if I can rock it, yeah, sure, why not? But it's it's not the main eyes on the price for me. I think I'm more of a Jordan head than an SB head. But maybe that could be set to change. His favorite SB is the most hyped up one. Exactly. Because usually the ones that are the most hyped one are hard to come across and hard to grab up. Curtis, what's up? Now, we never heard of the one of the most popular SBs. Exactly. I, I'm sure you guys haven't. What am I saying? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, if I had to pick and choose, man, I think this one would be up there. I don't know if it's my favorite SB, but definitely one of my favorites. You guys can let me know what's your guys' favorites up in there as well, too. I'm surprised I don't have an SB as a beater, to be honest. I have a regular Dunk Low or a Dunk High as well, too. But actually, I do have a Dunk High that's, uh, that's an SB. That's the Supreme ones. Supreme might be one of my favorite ones, too. The Sean Cliver's my favorite. Sean Cliver's are nice, too, but mad expensive. Mad expensive. Sp same with the Strange Loves, obviously, but mad expensive. Um, I have Civilist Dunks. I think you did mention that Romero 5. I think I remember. They're DS. I can't wear them because they'll crease instantly. Uh, since uh, not made of leather, it's plastic type of shoe. Indigo, what's up, baby? That's a new profile. I see. It stands out. I like it. What the Pauls is my favorite SBs. What the Pauls are another one that I hear a lot. Hot Gold says, what shoes are you looking forward to that's coming out this year? Well, the first main one that I keep bringing up because it's like going to be one of the bigger drops of this year will probably be um, the uh, Jordan 4s and that bread colorway, all right? The Reimagines. Reimagines. I'm definitely snagging up Reimagines. I just rocked my bread 4 not too long ago. Actually, um, this is the pair from 2012. This is going to be another beater. I wouldn't say beater. This is going to be another one that I'm going to be rocking like on the regular, regular basis. Um, I still kept the uh, eBay authentication on here just in case if I am going to let it go. I'm making sure that everything is nice and neat on these. But um, I'm curious if anyone is interested in this bad boy, you guys may want to claim this pair before the drop happens. Because I, I do plan on letting this Jordan 4 go. Um, if I have to pick and choose between the reimagines or the bread fours in that new buck colorway or in that new buck, uh, type of time, and this is from 2012 as well too. This is with the Jumpman Jordan, uh, not so much the Nike air. I honestly don't really care for the Nike air on the back cause I wasn't really there back then. So, um, I'm more on this type of era. So that's what I grew up looking at Jordan fours or Jordan threes or just flat out Jordans in general with that Jumpman. So that Nike Air doesn't really phase me to rock the shoes, but if you, it doesn't phase you guys either, if you guys want to pop pop this one up, you guys are gonna have to claim your size or um, claim your uh, claim your sneaker because I'm actually thinking about letting this one go before the reimagine, so I can just swap them. Um, so if you guys are interested, I did buy this one for. I'm gonna say I did buy this one right around that 260, that 260 vibe. So if you guys are able to match that. Again, sneakers got plenty of life left. You guys can definitely see that for what it is. Um, I can definitely take more pictures, more images and whatnot. I might let this go for the same price that I got it for from before. But uh, yeah, it's still got plenty of life. You guys see it up in there. Not too bad. There's a little bit of some creasing going on on the new buck. A little bit more of some white stuff going on on that toe area. But it still looks nice and neat. And it goes with almost everything. So if you guys are trying to snag this one up, I can definitely let it go for how much I got it for. But other than that, I'll probably keep it, if anything, because I prefer to have this in the collection than leave it. But, again, if I'm able to swap it, if I'm able to swap this for the reimagines, I would definitely do it. 
I would definitely do it. I'd rather have the reimagines in that all type of leather than the new buck. Than that new buck. But yeah, just in case you guys are curious, this has been this is gonna be like something I'm gonna start rocking before I let it go, if anything. But again, I'm not in no rush of selling this one either. I'd rather have it than not have it, you know. But that reimagine is coming home soon, baby. That reimagine is coming home soon, baby. Um, shout out to the family up in here showing that love and support. So yeah, Jordan Four Breads are also in the rotation now. So Jordan Four Breads in that 2012 vibe. Uh, Eugene, thank you so much for joining up the BG family. Shout out to Eugene up in here for showing that love and support. Shout out to Eugene for showing that love and support. Everyone, say what's up to Eugene up in the chat for joining up, man. I appreciate you, Eugene, man. Say what's up in the chat so we can see your highlighted name and badge. I'd love to see it, fam. Thank you guys so much, man, for the love and support. Let me just pop up Jordan 4. Bread. Um, 2012. We'll do 2012. Shout out to Eugene up in the building once again, man. Like I said before, man, seeing you guys go green like that, man, man helps out so much. So thank you guys so much, y'all. Much love and support. Um, they about to re uh, they're about to be ready to separate at that age. Hey, listen, if you guys would want to soul swap them, you guys can, but they seem pretty good. I haven't really seen. I rocked them the other day. They seem pretty good. I wasn't so much worried about it. Um. K9 says, yo, BG, what's up, man? Haven't been on here for in a minute. Yo, K9, how you been, man? Uh, not much, man. We're just going over sneakers as usual and just uh, vibing, man. Can't complain. Trying to catch these shot drops. Trying to tap in for anything that's well worth our while, man. Is that an air tag? No, it's not an air tag. It's the authentication, um, the authentication tag that eBay authenticated them. Size, it's a 10.5. And it comes with no box either. Um, I think I, I threw away the box. I think I threw away the box, but it's all good, though. I mean, it's a Jordan 4, so. Rocked and things. Rocked and things, baby. Uh, the p Raw 2's Cappuccino High Tops Best SB, says Tommy. Shout out to Tommy up in the building. Um, Plug, what's up, baby? Jarrett, what's up? What size? 10.5, family. So hit me up on, um, I was going to say hit me up on eBay, but hit me up on Instagram first. And then if you guys would want to go at it strong with eBay, you guys can. But realistically... If I can let go of it uh, uh, without eBay, I'll definitely be it'll definitely be helpful for your guys' pockets. Cause with eBay, I'll probably pr price it up a bit more, just so I can like avoid the fees. Cause they're those are already like rare to come across. So if you guys would want that that new buck version of things, but yeah, that's my eBay right there. I mean, uh, that's my IG. And if you guys do want to hit me up on eBay, you guys can as well. I'll probably end up doing um, a sneaker tree or like I said a sneaker tree. I'll probably do a link tree wh which has all my links um, through my bio. So you guys should be ready to go. Damn, Curtis, like just chill the heck out, man. I'm trying to let go of them things. Golly, man. Just help me out a bit. Just like, you know, who the heck would want a soul swap when drop next month unless I'm wilding? Damn, Curtis, like, come on. Shh. Damn. Um, I'll give you 200. Let me know. I'll go for, uh, I'll pick them up after work. Question mark. What's the meetup for, uh, meet on 59th? Smack Gamer. I'm not sure if you're actually being serious right now. Eugene, what's up? Good morning, family. I just joined the team. Eugene, I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much, famo. I'm just seeing it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, fam. But yeah, hit me up. Hit me up, family. BG, tomorrow we got Top Star. Yo, Top Star is looking really good for you guys tomorrow. If you guys have eBay Top Star, congratulations. It's looking really nice and neat for you guys for 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You guys got, let me show you guys what you guys got for Top Star. Hold up. Hold up. And a lot of you guys have been asking about, like, yo, what should I go for? Yo, what's that? Like, family, go with whatever you guys think you guys are going to hit on and go at it strong. Go with whatever you guys would want to hit on. That's all I got to say. There's a lot of you guys, like, being like, very much scared of what's going to go down if you guys don't, like, family, take that risk. Take that risk. Um, let me see real quick. Let me see. Shout out to Raphael. Raphael, are you up in the building? What's up, baby? Okay, let's see. I'm going to show you guys the video that Raphael sent me. All right, this is what it's looking like. Damn, he's going way too fast, though. Hold up. Pause. Pause. This is what it's looking like for his top star, which I'm sure that's going to be a lot of you guys. You guys got J Balvin's, all right? J Balvin 1's. Amamanier 4's, all right? 
Travis Scott sixes. All right, 270 Travis Scotts. Reimagine threes. Jordan Ford Midnight Navies. You guys got the Thunders. You guys got the Seafoams. All right, not too bad. Lost and Founds. Pat and Breads. All right, White Gum Bottoms. Jordan Threes and uh, I'm going to say Dark Iris. Okay, let me find out. Um, you guys got Biohacks and Red Cements. You guys got Cherries. You guys got, now this one I've never seen before. Or maybe I have, I just didn't pay no mind to it. But you guys got the Asics Sean Witherspoons. This one's the first one I j actually don't tap in with. Okay, you guys got the Halos. And you guys got the Jubilees. You guys got the Stage Hazes. I'm pretty sure this is from 2022, no? Stage Hazes. And you guys got the Spider-Mans. You guys got Taxis. And you guys got Supremes. Speaking of which, I will be doing... I think I might be snagging up some Supremes pretty soon, man. I should be doing some on review, uh, a review on Supremes. W stream, but I'm gonna go now. It's 12:40 a.m. I'm um where I'm at. Shout out to Hot Gold, man. And I know you guys in Australia or anywhere across overseas, man. It's a different time, and man. So appreciate you guys 1,000 percent, man. Appreciate y'all, man. We'll keep you guys up to date for anything. Uh, shot dropping over there too. We'll try at least. Uh, shout out to Eugene, man. W Eugene up in the building, man. Um, let me see, Mr. Abby, what's up? Power just came on. Let's freaking go! I got power going on now. I'd love to hear it, man. Uh, Jay Moly, what's up? Good morning, BG. And chat, what's up, baby? Can't help you out by, um, duping someone else. Hello, sir. Sorry, sir. I thought you were helping each other out here. My bad. Curtis, you're not helping me. You're not helping me. Come on now. No, like I said before, um, the sneakers are perfectly fine, but if you guys were to soul swap them, even better for you guys, but it seems like they're not falling apart whatsoever. I actually rocked them things, so... I think we would have been, we would have been, I obviously wouldn't pop them up if, like, there were, like, any type of, like, soul detachment going on, obviously. But they still look good. They still wearable. You should be good. You should be good. Um, and if anything does go down, then just simply just keep in mind, it is a 2012 pair. But, again, that pair is looking fine. That It's looking like, yeah, it's looking like it's good to go. I would not pop you guys up on that type of timing. Um... Let's see. You guys got the Supreme Air Forces. You guys got uh, the Mocha Dunk Lows. And then I forgot what they had up right then and there. Um, UNC Sixes. All right. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You guys got the 72 Tens. You guys got the Panda White and Blacks. You guys got the Hyper Royals. And you guys got the Unions. All right. The Union Fours. Um, run by Ju. Yeah. Hold up. Let me just, yeah. Run the Jewels. I was going to say Run by Jewels. But Run the Jewels and then UNC Toes. The Black Canvases and the Lightnings. Georgetowns. And then you guys got the Neutral Grays 85s. All right. Playoff 12s. And then you guys got the Golf Reds. All right. Which I think it's pretty easy to snag up in the resale market. I wouldn't even try to attempt those. Those are probably going to be sitters. Um, This one I haven't seen. Oh. That golf, that uh, silky Air Force One, and then you guys got some Sakai's up in there that I've never seen before. Some vapor Sakai's, is that what it is? Vapor waffle Sakai's. I've never seen that one before. Um, Jordan One lost and found in that grade school. The Baruch Browns in that Air Force Supreme vibe. Uh, Gratitude Elevens, Cherry Elevens. Oh no, Cherry Twelves. Man, there's a lot, bro. Black Gum Bottoms, you guys got... I forgot this one. I forgot this one. This one is a minute. Ah, the Argons, that's what it was. And then you guys got the... These are different. What are these? You guys got the Nike what? What are these? Nike Supreme? Nike Air Max 96. Interesting on those. I've never seen those before. But that's what it's looking like for Top Star for tomorrow. It's not bad. It's not bad. Same kicks. Hey, I, I'm pretty sure you guys wouldn't be complaining if you guys had that. I'm pretty sure you guys wouldn't be complaining for another batch of some hyped up releases. I take it. I take it. Just wake up. Wake up, baby. Just wake up or just woke up? 
Oh, snap. Vermeil says, my top star collection is way different from what you're showing. Oh, snap. Show us what you got. I thought that's what I thought that's what everyone's going to be having for uh, tomorrow. What dates and which one do you have, Vermeil5? I guess it's looking different for everyone. <laughs> it's 2024, BG. Nobody wants that booty check jump man on the back. No one wants that booty check jump man on the back. JJ, I'm pretty sure no one. No one, I mean, I'm pretty sure no one from my age cares about that Nike Air on the back like that. I could you not. One of my friends and family members hit me up and said, yo, bro, that shit, I mean, I mean I'm sorry for the cursing, but he was like, yo, bro, that Jumpman on the back is so off. Like, I'm just like, what makes it off? It needs to be a Nike Air. I'm like, bro, you weren't even born in 88. You weren't even born back then to even see that go down. Like, why would it matter to you? If you guys weren't born back in the day to even witness that to go down, why would it be that bad of a, like, what's so bad about a Jumpman being on the back of your guys' heels? It shouldn't really matter. If you guys weren't back then, like, I can understand if you guys were OGs, if you guys witnessed it back then. Yes, I, I get that. I understand. That's that's your era right there. I understand. But, like, if it's the same sneaker, same colorway, but it's just that Jumpman... Instead of that Nike Air, why would it matter? Why would it concern you if you guys weren't even there back then? You guys weren't even existing. You guys were in the sack. Y'all were in the sack. Why would it matter? That's why someone came at me strong. He was He's a good friend of mine. He was like, bro, you got to get the Nike Airs. I'm like, bro, no, I don't. I wasn't even born back then. I've, I've only seen these bad boys in that type of time when I was coming up. Why would it matter? Why would I care for that? I shouldn't care for it. I shouldn't, at least. Maybe you guys, it's different. Some of you guys, it's different. But if you guys prefer that Nike Air as well, too, that's different, too. But I don't care if it's a Nike Air or a Jumpman. I wouldn't say. I would I would say. It's still the same color. The only difference is just that Jumpman. Just that Jumpman. BG got that low-tier top star. I mean, hold up. What do you guys have? You need that Nike Air on the OG, says the fam. Yes, I understand. I understand. Because it's OG. That's how it was back then. But literally, the same thing. It's just got that jump, man. It's got that jump, man. Curtis says, everyone from your generation does care. Stop lying to yourself. Nike Air matters to folks. I'm just saying, people like me feel like, I'm sure I'm not the only one. But if I wasn't born back then, I, why would I even care for that as much? I was, I was in my generation. I was only seeing ju Jumpmans. I was only seeing Jumpmans. I wasn't seeing no Nike Airs. All top star drops are different. My membership is year long. I don't have drops tomorrow. I had two drops back to uh, back to back in November and December twenty third. Uh, both winter drops. Caught Mocha once in November. Interesting on that, man. Interesting on that. I thought each and every single one of you guys that had a top star drop. Was well, gonna look exactly the same, but it seems like it's different. It seems like it's different. That's pretty cool. Maybe it's, it's uh, different sellers as well too. What everyone rate on the Jordan Thirteen style? What do you mean by that, uh, Mackle? It matters, BG. To me, it doesn't. To some of you guys, it does. The only difference is Nike Air pay more a lot. Uh, more a lot back uh back QC price. I don't remember if my had the Jumpman or the Nike Air. Uh for which pair, Ari? Can't make the rule cause uh you got the Jumpman pair. Now I'm not hating towards the Nike Air though. Like I can go with either or, but I'm just saying, like, for me, like if someone's calling me out for having a certain shoe without the night gear like my point is i wasn't there back in the day why would i even care for that like these are if anything these are my ogs coming up and seeing jordans all the time that would that's what i would see believe me i don't care either way but sneakerheads care what other sneakerheads think i got lost and found j balvin ones alma manier fours white cement threes and travis sixes for ty you got top star or what what exactly is top star? Do you get to choose the shoe you want for retail price? Yes, you get to choose it, but it's at a first come first serve basis. So if you don't go quick, they'll sell out. It's like a literal drop. 
but for eBay. It's like an eBay first come first serve thing going on. BG, I'm happy that you asked that, man. I'm not a fan of these shots like that to begin with. BG, are you going for the SB Air Max E shots? We got like three different colorways going down for those. I'm not a fan of those. I don't remember what pair years ago. Oh, snap. Shake my head. Nothing OG about a jump mount on the back of fours. It There's nothing OG about it. But I'm just saying it shouldn't really matter. It shouldn't really matter. In my opinion, it shouldn't really matter. It should. I feel like it wasn't. It it wasn't a problem back in 2012, was it? Let me know. Let me know. Back in the day in 2012, when you guys seen a Brett Jordan Four come out with the Jumpman, were people saying, "Oh man, it's a Jumpman"? I ain't copping those. Nah, I'm pretty sure you guys snagged them up like no tomorrow. Like, oh snap, it's a Jordan Four bread. Let's go get them. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. That didn't stop you guys from copping them, did you guys? Let me know in the chat if you guys ever caught the Jordan 12s, uh, Jordan 4s, or a Jordan that had the Jumpman on the back instead of it being the Nike Air. Whether it's a Jordan 3, all right? Because I know a lot of these Jordan 3s up in there had that Jumpman on the back, and that didn't stop you guys from snagging them up either, because that's what I would see all the time. Then Fire Red 3s with that Jumpman on the back, I'm sure you guys ran it up too. I'm sure that didn't stop you guys running up some Fire Reds with that Jumpman. BG, eBay is running the promotion right now, 15% off of any shoe. Nice. So if you guys are snagging them up, make sure you guys run it up. Family, by the way, we got about five minutes to see what the vibes are for. Um, yeah, for exclusive access. We got about five more minutes left. Five more minutes left. Let's see what you guys got to say with this one. JD, what's up, man? Old sneakerhead don't care about what level one sneakerheads think about our sneakers. Oh, snap. D period. Period. Eddie says, Yo, what's up, BG? Good morning, my guy. Live from the BX New York. You heard? Hold up, Eddie. How you feeling, brother, man? Um, how's how's uh, Bronx treating you right now, man? How's the weather over there? I mean, it's the same thing over here, but I'm curious, like, did you guys get mass floodings or something? You guys are more on the, you guys are more on that side. And it's kind of deep. Alex, what's up? Pine Green 4 so um so tough but so high for what? What do you mean by that, Alex? I think is it so yo? What do you mean? Is that tough? Is that supposed to be Pine Green 4s are so tough but so high for what? I think it's just cuz it's a solid hyped up sneaker of the year candidate sneaker and I think it's comfy as well too, man. BJ, imagine we get an SB4 with the Tony Hawk in the air LMAO. Oh my god. Um are you sure or are you guessing? Dot 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 guessing. Family, come on now. Are you guys telling me people did not cop bread fours and bread uh fire red threes just because of that they didn't? I wish my top star had lost and founds. Saul, what does your top star have? What's the shot drop today? Uh, the shock drop today. What shock drop? There shouldn't be any shock drops today. Not that I know of, at least. BG, the only colorways I'm digging so far is the white, orange pair, and black gum bottoms. Okay, that's not bad. It do matter on some point, says Mackel. Morning, uh, good morning, BG and fam. Happy hump day. Happy hump day, family. Eves, what's up? No shock drop today. Yeah, not that I know of, man. If there is any shock drop, we'll pop it up for you guys. But as of right now, it's laying low. The only thing that's dropping today should be an exclusive access drop for JD and Finish Line. You can't ask, and then uh, when it says it matters, you still deny and ask again. Says Kurt. I'm not denying. I'm not denying. I'm just saying. There's still people up in there that would still snag them. It wouldn't have mattered. It, it doesn't matter as much. It's still a, an original. But I'm not denying it. I'm not done. I'm just saying it would it would still be that people would still snag them up. Even even if it, I'm sure. I'm sure, it's a it's. But I'm not denying. I'm not denying. 
His top star has the dunks and the uh the currently on clearance. So is George. Oh my gosh. That was crazy. All right, what's up, man? Just want to thank the fam for the gifted membership, and y'all are the champ, man. We appreciate you, George, man. Thank you so much. Shout out to everyone that donated. Shout out to anyone that joined up the family this week, man. Appreciate y'all. Shows that support. Keeps us growing, man. It keeps us nice and neat up in here each and every single morning, man. You know them funds. When If I ever tell you guys the day that I have to stop streaming in the mornings, I'll let you guys know. I'll, I'll pop you guys a community tab. I'll let you guys know, like, family, it's that time and frame that your boy BG just won't be able to start going live anymore because we're not making the initial funds to keep up with the streams. Um, it's been a pleasure going live for each and every single morning, but we're going to have to take it one step at a time. We might just end up going live for just a hyped up releases because, again, tough times, tough days, but we'll get better in time. Time will only tell. I'm just kidding. Um, we'll definitely see, though, but so far, we're, we're, we're necking it. We're, like, right there for, like, just barely making it. For the morning streams. We're barely making them. Um we're still there though. We're still come we're we're still going. We're put we're pushing P. We're pushing P. And now this queue up should be for the uh finish line and uh JD um exclusive access drop, fam. So just giving you guys a heads up. If you guys are aiming for the Jordan ones, yeah. I can't wait for the next SB4 colorway. I'm going to collect them all. Says Romero 5. I've been hearing about shot. I haven't tapped in with any videos as of late. Been hearing a lot of like shot drop rumors. Um, for SBs, I don't know if you guys have been hearing anything about that. Have not heard anything myself. I don't know if it's just maybe perhaps like hyping it up a bit. But you guys can let me know. Have you guys heard of another SB four on the way or what's up? Let me know what you guys been up to. Let me know what you guys been hearing. Deontay, what's up, baby? I'm hyped for the bread fours and the spizikes. The spizikes. Corby says that's cat BG. That's cat for what, famo? Let us know, baby. Um, uh, Rafael, what's up, man? El Señor Grinch. Hey yo, que lo que? I can't find the date. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we expect those spizikes going down like May or like somewhere around like Feb or May. February through May, like I feel like them things are gonna pop off. BG, did someone block a ninja? Been asking the same question, what, all morning? Nah, I don't think so, man. You're good to go. I mean, I see your comment right there, but I just don't see it. Have you guys been asking inappropriate questions? Because I know I know you be saying crazy, sometimes crazy. Uh, BG, pick one. Grinches or Phantom Ones? Is that what it is? Stop ignoring me. Uh, I'm not ignoring you, fam. I promise you guys that it's just that there's so many people being active today. Um, I'll probably say reverse... Wait a minute. Oh wait, no, you didn't say you didn't say reverse. You just said Grinches or Phantoms. Wear ability Phantom Ones, man. But Grinches, I I feel like I like Grinches more than than Phantoms. But wear ability and like how I can pull them off, I think I can pop up a Phantom One. I just got EA on the Jordan One Yellow Orcas. Anybody else cop and let me know. You only commenting on stream for hype releases is uh, Cat BG. You only commenting on hype releases for... Let me see. Hold up. You only commenting on streams for hype releases Cat BG. Wait, you guys have to add up more on that, Corby. Explain yourself. Explain. Explain more on that. I feel like that's just... I don't know where that's coming from. May have to explain a bit more so I can... um. So I can comment on that further. Is that good or bad? What does that mean? How do you feel about that? Like, can, give me more that I can work with on that one. Um, I was the 60th like. Let's go. Thank you guys so much for smashing it up, family. All right, here we go. Sneaker releases right up in here. It's, again, another dry one for you guys for EA. But are you guys passing? Are you guys hitting up EAs? What's going on for today? Ah, this is the Women's Air Jordan 2 that I was talking about. Oh, it's coming out today? This one right here is really, really neat, man. It's wearable. No EA, but I don't want them pass. Color J, what's up? Uh, BG, thoughts on the pair of St. Germain and Jordan Legacy 312 lows? Well, the Jordan Legacies, I'm not a fan of like that. And I haven't seen... Is the pair of St. Is the PSGs supposed to be a collab with the Jordan Legacy or is that its own different vibe? 
Um, coming in January, white Sequoia green colorway. I don't think I've seen those, but Jordan Legacies, yeah, Jordan Legacies are not my cup of tea. I probably pass up on them. I'm not a fan of the silhouette. Why were you talking about that too? I mean, come on. The twos are not bad, family. The twos are not bad. Twos, if you guys know how to pull them off, they're not bad. Twos, if you guys know how to pull them off, they're not bad. You're just going to have to have an open mind at a, at a basic looking sneaker that has less, I guess, how do I explain it? It's just, it's, there's nothing fancy about it, I feel like. It's just plain. It's a plain looking sneaker, which is okay to work with. It's okay to work with. That damn two looks like an outlet collab. I, th I think that if they were bound for outlet bound, which I wouldn't be surprised if these go on sale. I'm sure these will go on sale. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a pickup for those that are messing with twos like that. But they don't look bad, though, in my opinion. Uh, BG, thoughts on New Balance Silly Heat? He, be hot. Okay, so which one specifically are we talking about, JD? Guys, got to drop me an image on the new New Balances. BG, I'm going to keep it real, brother. Oh, my gosh. Vimera, what the heck, you heck? Uh, good morning, BG. Always getting up early to support daily. Zach, I love you for that, man. Thank you, guys. It means a lot to me uh, that you guys say that too, man. It gives me that that uh, that boost of adrenaline and boost of confidence to keep on doing what we're doing up in here each and every single morning, man. Nothing looks bad um, in your opinion. I try seeing the good in everything, but I like twos. I like twos. I just don't cop them as much because I'm not trying to waste too much money on that. But uh, I do like twos. I I would pull off a two if I would get them for free. If I would get them for 30 to 40 bucks, I wouldn't mind standing up of Jordan 2. I wouldn't. Not trying to spend too much money on stuff that I feel like um, isn't going to get my money back. But yeah, I would still rock a two. I still got the white and reds that are my beaters. I rock them at work all the time. I appreciate them. It's not bad, man. Two is better than one. Oh. What's up, BG? Top of the morning. Top of the morning, Tiara. How you feeling? Shout out to the 125 over the building. Um, hold up. Let me show you guys another. Bu, bu, bu. I think I've already showed you guys this one too, but you guys got the sevens that I use as beaters as well too. Hair sevens. This one's already yellowing out as well too. You guys see that, that toe right here? This is another beater up in here that I use on the regular bit regular regular bases i hooped in these like maybe two weeks ago and they're so uncomfy i didn't like hooping in them they feel like a glove but they're not as comfy as i thought they would be for hooping so this is definitely a no-go and i have a good feeling that if i keep on hooping this part of the shoe is going to tear up so i'm gonna just stop that but uh this is another one right up in here this is a hair seven if i'm not mistaken so beautiful looking shoe one of my favorite sevens to drop um but those are it, man. Those are like what my daily beaters are or my daily my daily sneakers. I do have that Volt Gold Jordan 1 as well, too, that I typically hide the tongue or that, that I hide the the high collar of the sneaker. And I just run it up as like a, a Jordan 1 yellow aesthetic vibe because that Volt is just too damn bright. So I typically hide the sneaker right there. You rock them, but not buy them. You don't like them. I do like them. I just want to spend too much money on them. That's about it. There's, there's a difference now with your boy BG. I'm very much cheap. I'm very much cheap now. Before, I'd be able to spend like no tomorrow. I wouldn't care about spending. But now, I do care about spending. I, I definitely wouldn't buy them more than 130 for them. I wouldn't pay... I wouldn't pay like more than 130 bucks for a Jordan 2 as of right now. If I can snag them up below 100, even better. Even... Even amazing. Even for Jordan One right now, even for Jordan One right now, I wouldn't try to spend over 150, unless it's a banger of a release. Unless it's a banger of a release. Unless it's a banger of a colorway, then that's different. Then I'll try to spend, um, I try to spend an affordable price tag for them. Um, hey, I just recently watched that video when you first caught the volts. Get out of here. Are you serious? Man, oh man, that's crazy, bro. I can't believe that you guys seen that. 
I, I've been seeing some of you guys tap in with the older videos, man. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Was I having long hair back then or no? Or did I have short hair? I think I still had really long hair back then. Ty, what's up? Abby G. Kicks, is there a reason that I can't send info on, uh, to your Instagram? Are you still able to now send it to... I have no idea, Ty. I don't know what's going on with my IG, bro. I don't know. It, sometimes you guys message me and I don't get the response or I don't get the message till like later on like the day. Some of you guys message me and I look for your guys' um, requests and it just doesn't pop up until later on, man. Like it's so weird. There's like a delay on my like messages or something. Some of you guys can message me. Some of you guys can't. I don't really know what's good with it. I really don't. Some of you guys think that I do it on purpose. I, I try not to, family. I'm like literally, what do I have to... Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. Long hair with an undercut. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Ayo, um, let's see. George says EA for zero points. Wait, how many points do you guys need for uh, Yellow Orchards? I'm curious. BG, low-key, um, BG, low-key, I might just have to return, uh, rerun all the old vids of BG. Damn, if you guys do, man... You guys are going to be seeing me in a car a lot. Because that's how I used to... Yeah. That's how I used to run it up with in the videos. I used to do car videos all the time because I didn't have much of a space um, back at that old spot. It's too loud. It was too loud for me to like make a video like that. So I would end up be making cars, uh, making videos in the cars. Whether it was during break, whether it was like... Yeah, because we were running up Amazon. During my break, sometimes you guys would see me with a beanie and with like a keychain and like my tag and literally literally would run it up with um during my break it was terrible fam doing videos while on break is like one of the worst things ever because you feel like you're working when you're not working but you guys had to do it i had to do it so either that or you guys wouldn't have gone a video that day because of how tapped out i was my schedule was so messed up crazy working for amazon we having you guys have like crazy schedules like I started, had to wake up at 4, get to the job at 5, and then start um, start my start my shift at uh, 6, 6 in the morning. 6 to like, I'm going to say like 6 to like 4.30 or something like that. That was like my shift back then. It wasn't too bad, but at the same time, like, damn. Have to, I had to literally wake up early so I can catch a ride with the rest of the family members because we were all like Amazonians. We were all like tapped in at Amazon. So I didn't have a car, but they had to work an hour early. So I had to wake up a bit early at the same time frame as them. And then I would have to leave with them so I can get that ride. Because Amazon, that commute to Amazon, without the car would have been like an hour. With the car, would have been like, would have, it would have been like a good 20 to 25 minutes. So we had to wake up really, really early. We had to wake up like earlier than like 4 o'clock. We have to be up by 4, get ready before like 4.30 or 4.50-ish. Um, and then get there by five and then I would just sit there for like a good hour or so. I feel like just sit there at, for an hour, just like free time, just try to take a nap or something and then start my shift at six. It was crazy. It was like crazy stuff. BG had a mullet back in the day. Nah, definitely not. I kind of want to get a mullet now, but I've already grown out my hair so much that I feel like it would be, um, a, a cheat, a cheat to like get a mullet. I want to get the whole, the whole hair done already, man. I can, I still can, but I feel like my brains are not gonna come out as the way I want them. Loki, your voice back then was somewhat, somehow deeper, lol. But the energy today is where it's at. That's because my voice is deeper. I have to tone it up a bit for me to like stream with you guys. I feel like if I don't tone it up high, it's not gonna be the same. For those that don't know, I have somewhat of like a deep voice, but like literally when I speak to people, I lighten it up just so I don't seem like I'm like mad or something. But like if I do end up talking with you guys, like regular, regular, you guys can probably sense it. You guys can probably see it. Uh, but I used to sound like Justin Bieber back in high school. I used to literally have like a pit, uh, a pit, um, a pit squeak voice. I was like, hey guys, what's up? And all of a sudden, that summer that came through, I, can't, I tapped in like, yo, guys, what's up? What's going on? All of a sudden, everything was different. All of a sudden. All of a sudden. Good morning, BG and fam. What's up, baby? How you feeling, Evixen? Happy New Year. Happy New Year, family. 
BG Braids coming holiday 2026. You guys are going to have to see that Shot Drop ba uh, Braid live stream. You guys are going to have to wait and see. Do a live while catching some graffiti writers and some daytime action. I want. I was bringing up. I was gonna bring up the, the the combo up with you guys sooner than later. But I wanted to do a live stream where it's like a live cop, but like we're doing something outside while we're live cop, and which is like different. Like I was speaking to people up in there. I had some ideas like doing a live cop while I don't know, like doing something at the same time. I feel like that's never done that. that that's never been done before. Like, doing a live cop while being on a roller coaster or something like that. Like, okay, guys, we're about to get the drop. It's like an in real life live cop, and I got my phone on me, and then I, like, submit. Ah! Like, I don't know. Like, I was, like, thinking of, like, some ideas of some sort, you know? Or doing, like, a sneaker review and being, like, on the slingshot. Like, I remember I went to Kissimmee, Florida, and I was extremely scared of getting on that slingshot. I did the, the Vomitron. I did Vomitron, which was already, like, a little bit intimidating. And it wasn't helpful that they were intimidating me with like their, with that sound. Like Vomitron sounds like it's gonna be a rough, a rough ride, but it wasn't that bad. I did Vomitron like whenever I went to Florida, um, and that was a that was a vibe. Now the next thing that I want to do is doing that slingshot. That slingshot and kissing me, Florida is probably the, the best. Um, I I think it's the, like the most fastest slingshot, and I think it's the highest slingshot in the United States where like flings you all the way up in that like ball and then you come right back and like i think it spins you as well too like once you're like up there a coney island live cop that could be that could happen this dude i mean i'm 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 just saying you do that roller coaster shiz and i'll unsubscribe yo think about it though like we go to six flags and we do a live cop while doing six flags it's kissing me Renee, how are you going to talk? Renee, come on. You going to correct the guy that's the best at pronunciation? Come on. I know how to do this thing. It's kissing me, right? It is kissing me, Florida, right, family? Yeah, when I heard the name, I thought it was like kissing me, like, like kissing me, Florida, you know? Kiss, kissing me. No? Okay, never mind. It is kissing me, isn't it? Like kissing me, like kiss me. Like, kiss me, baby, one more time. Um, oh, good idea, BG. Go on extreme. Be careful. I would literally cry if I ever want something like a slingshot. Um, if I ever went on a... Yeah, a slingshot is kind of... You know what got me to not get on the slingshot? Is that someone on their way down threw up. Someone on their way down threw up. So you just see the splatter of their throw up, like, in the concrete. While coming on their way down. Like, they got so nervous that... Ugh, and on top of that, people are staring at you go up. Like, can you guys give them some privacy at least to, like, get a, a bit nervous? Oh, and on top of that, they'll record your reaction, too. You sign your rights. You sign your rights that they can record you while going up. Like, there's a camera right there that catches your reaction. And you can ask them whether or not you want the top fastest level of, like, speed for them to shoot you up with or the regular, regular version of things. And sometimes they'll just say, all right, get ready. One, two, and then shoot. Before they they can even get to three, I'll just throw you up. Literally. BG doing six flags while live coughing? Yo, I would love to, y'all. I would love to. Morning, BG, working and listening. Do you think the military black Jordan 4s will be hard to get on top star drop? Yes, of course. That's going to be one of the first few things to f sell out, like, easily. Easily, like within like less than 30 seconds, type shiz. Yeah. I was there, BG. I went on the slingshot. Um, also, I went on the uh, sky coaster. Sit, uh, oh, my gosh. Yeah, no. I'm good off that one. Is that sky coaster? I might have to do that one, though. Live cop with no Wi-Fi? Good luck with that. Live cop with no Wi-Fi? Live cop with LTE, baby. We've done a light cop without Wi-Fi, man. We've done LTE. We did it at the park. We did a shock drop live cop at the park, and it worked nice and neat. It seemed like the internet, when we had an internet outage here, we actually had to literally go to the park. Go to the park with the Coco Mango like lady was ringing up that bell for some ice cream. It was still nice and neat outside. It was warm outside. I was rocking shorts. That's how nice it was. Try kissing me. Try kissing me. I don't know how to pronounce them, family. You guys already know, man. 
Tyler, what's up, baby? How you feeling? BGB getting them subs up. Hell yeah, boy. Yes, yeah, sir. You already know, man. Shout out to you guys, of course, man. Debating if I should cop these triple blacks. Um, if you're debating, Evo Kid, if you're debating, then... I don't know. If you guys really have to think about it, maybe that's a no. That's what I say. That's what I say to myself all the time. If I'm really thinking about it, maybe it's a no. I feel like if you guys are for sure certain about something, you guys, you guys would go out there and get it. If you guys are really debating, is it really a must cop? Is do you really have it? BG, was that with the laptop though? No, definitely not, man. I prefer honestly going live on my phone than laptop. Now, phones are just so much easier to take maneuver. And I feel like laptops, you guys need a Wi-Fi. You need a hotspot with. And that's just a whole flat-out mess. Tommy, what's up? I'd be flipping off the camera. That way they, uh, they'd be forced to remove it. Yeah, no thank you. I would have to go on a regular coaster before doing something like that. Yeah, the best coasters to go on, if it's your first time, the best coasters to go on, go, on, go to Six Flags. Do Superman. Do Nitro and Six Flags, and I guarantee those two, those two coasters will either have you loving uh, roller coasters or hate it. That's when you'll get to choose. That's when you get to decide. Make th have those two ready to go, and if you guys like those, then you guys can do almost anything you guys would want with coasters. If you guys don't like them, then coasters are not for you, man. Those are two honestly rides that will either. Make it or break it for coasters for you guys, to be honest. I bet you guys can't go wrong with the Superman. Superman literally has you feeling like you're flying. Like you're flying. The first ever roller coaster that I ever got on was the Superman coaster in Six Flags in Jersey. Best thing ever, in my opinion. Yo, my money fell off my pockets, but yo, I was literally living life to the fullest. I literally said it, yo, family, if I die, I die. But it is what it is, man. At least I'm going to be going at it strong as a Superman. And I literally felt like Superman. The first thing first, when you drop, all right, when you drop and it's spinning you around, you feel like you're about to touch the grass. Literally, it drops you to the point where you're close to the grass. Where, not saying you guys can touch the grass, but the grass is right there where you guys can actually feel like you guys can maybe like somewhat feel the grass of some sort while having your hands out like that, which is pretty awesome. But it's it's nowhere near the grass, but you're close to the ground as a sort. So it's like, you're spinning, and then you're going swoop, and like your hands are out, and your legs are out, and you're just feeling like you're gliding up. It's awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome. And then with Nitro, Nitro, you just get the whole scenery of Jersey a bit. You see the trees. You see the whole amusement park. And then there's so many drops, and that first drop really gets you good. Like, that first drop, you feel it. And if you're, like, front row, it's, like, the best feeling ever. Like literally, Curtis, I get it, man. I'm from I'm from the West. I get it. I get it. I need to get on that slingshot. That slingshot I haven't got on. I think eventually I will though. And, and when I do, I'm gonna be having some shoes on me, and I'm gonna be doing a, a quick little sneaker review on the slingshot. I think that's never been done before. I think we can make it happen. I think we can make it happen. We'll pop up a nice little sneaker review on the slingshot. Um, what's the last drop you got on sneakers that you were happy to get? That bad boy right there. That's bad boy. Let me see if I can pop it up. That's the last drop that I got a W on. I wish it was Kobe's. But, um, the Hugos. This is the last sneaker drop that I got that I'm extremely happy about. This one right here. The Hugos. Hugos, Hugo, Hugos. I'm not going to lie, family. I don't know when's the first time I'm going to be rocking these because I want to rock them at work. But these just look too nice, man. This is like a nice looking shoe. Nice looking shoe. But the Hugos. The Hugos. That's the last time I felt like I, I hit the lotto. I hit the lotto. But yeah, that one's going to stay there for good, man. You guys are going to see that for like the rest of the, like, like check us out 10 years from now. And you guys will still see that. You guys will still see that in the collection. That's for sure one of my favorite um, DBs of all time. If not, it's my favorite DB right now, man. I love it. Love it. Actually, the DB, the DB up tempos are up there for your boy BG. Um, I got the fears, uh, and they restocked. Ooh, you know what would be a crazy, a crazy thing to do? I got the fears, and they restocked. Lol. 
uh, the Fear 3s. Are we talking about Fear 3s, Skama? Um, you know what would be crazy? If we end up going to Florida and we do that slingshot and we do it with the Fear 4s. Just because of get it, the slingshot, it's a lot of like adrenaline, a lot of scared vibes going on. Maybe around the, the October vibes and we got Fear 4s bright and early. And we're going to go at it some with a nice little review right then and there. The camera, they already got the camera there. So all we would have to do is just let them record. And then we'll just do a nice little, ah, like drop the shoes and just like, yeah. Shoes deserve to be worn, yes, but I have to pick and choose when to wear those. I have to literally pick and choose. That's like a special, special vibe for those. I like them a lot, man. They grew, they grew on me heavy. They grew on me heavy. Where am Hugo to uh, a bed, the review in the morning? What you mean by that, George? Um, I was on a ride at the fair with my uncle's friend and a uh, spit flew out his mouth into mine. Oh my God, it made me so sick. Ah, the thought of that is, fuck. I don't even want to do that. That's why typically I do uh, front rows. That's why you guys got to do front rows. The front row for roller coasters is the best thing to do, man. Because you guys don't have to worry about people's saliva, spit, nothing. I mean, ideally, you guys are worrying about the flies. Because if you guys go fast enough, you guys will hit flies. If you guys have ever done uh, King Daka, right? King Daka, right? This guy right here. If you guys have ever done this guy right here, if you guys are top... Um, If you guys have ever gone, this is this guy's huge, man. By the numbers, top speed is 128 miles per hour. This one is insane. Let me see if I can show you guys up in here. All right. Um. Oh my God, I love this. Have you guys ever done this before, Famo? This is arguably one of the fast, if not, it is the fastest coaster here in the U.S. And it's the tallest one too, I think. This is it right here. This right here, if I can do a sneaker review with this with this coaster right here, it's only going to be a 17, 15 seconds. Oh, it's 50 seconds. 50 seconds. This right here is beautiful. Doing a sneaker review while having this coaster on, would I feel like would be history. I don't think I've seen anybody do a sneaker review while riding a coaster. I would definitely make it happen. But man, oh man. This one right here, look at how high it takes you. Ah, yo, that drop and that twist, ah, and that's it, and that's it, beautiful, beautiful ride, I wish it was longer, wish it was longer, but that's it right there, if you guys ever go on that one front row, you guys just feel flies coming at you strong, at least that, last time, last time I hit a fly so hard it hurt my head, like it hurt my forehead, I felt it, I was like, ah, but it's so freaking fast, it's beautiful. I'm good on that, BG. Oh, come on. Stop it. Oh, let me know in the chat. Would you guys rather do King Ka, all right, that coaster right there, or do the Hot Chip Challenge? Let me know in the chat. That's what she said. I knew someone's going to say that. Let me know, chat. Let me know. King Ka or Hot Chip Challenge? Let me know. Mo Green, what's up? Good morning, BG. Fear 3's tanked. Hit the Hugos also. Nice. They fire. Not wearing mines. Just uh just like to look them uh just like to look at them. Review a sneaker on roller coaster. It makes no sense at the wall. But it's different, Mo Green. It's different. It's never been done. It's different. Think about it. Yo, BG, I did front row on all coasters. Oh my god, especially King Dakai. And yeah, King Dakai is not even bad, man. It's not even bad. Yeah, I had a feeling you guys were. I'd rather drive a car. Hot chip challenge, the ride. Hot chip. Ch oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. Nah, you see. I'd rather ride passenger in a 12, 120 HP Supra. But it just doesn't hit the same, though. You feel like you're flying on that one. Yo, can you find me a size 10 SB4 BG if possible, says James. James, I've been looking for that size 10, but what what's the what's the flow, what's the money flow looking like? I still remember you asked that yesterday, uh last week, James. 
I've been looking for a reasonable price tag for a size 10, but I haven't seen it. What's your what's your what's your price range for that SB4? Also, you gotta hit me up on IG as well too. None, not even the chip or paying for nausea. You guys won't even get nausea. It's so fast that you guys it won't even hit you. BT, did you do your twenty daily push ups? Says plug. No, I haven't. Would you guys want to see some twenty tw the twenty daily push up? We could definitely do it. I still haven't. Typically, I'll do I'll do it later on, so, but after, but I can do it fasted. I don't mind. I don't mind. BG, you know what gets you adrenaline pumping? Shaving those eyebrows for the one time, of course. SK, what's up, baby? I haven't seen you all day. SK, what's up, baby? How you feeling, brother? And shout out to SK on copping some grails, man. I think he copped some off five sale fours, if I'm not mistaken. Bro, if you're scared of roller coasters, something wrong with you. That's like being scared of a poodle. Like it's literally designed to make uh make sure you're safe. That SK. Um but I, I do see why though, SK. I ain't gonna lie, man. Just because it's it's trying to keep you or it it's not always gonna you know, you never know, man. You never really know. That's why you sign your rights away when riding a coaster and stuff. But if there was one way to go down, man, yo, sign me up. Sign me up. I'm done. All right, let me do let me do a tw uh, twenty push ups for you guys real quick, man. It's been a it, it, I feel like I haven't done it. I'm gonna push myself to see if I can do twenty or twenty five in a row consistently. Um, for those that don't know, I've been trying to do a challenge for your boy. I've been doing push up challenges on the daily basis, um, cause I'm trying to get my uh I'm trying to get my my muscles toned up for the summertime, baby. You know, so twenty push ups on a regular regular. Not going to do much, but we're doing like about 30 to 40 each and every single day. Let me put you guys down here. Let me put you guys down here real quick. All right. Don't mind. Don't mind your boy BG. He's just chilling, vibing. All right. Hopefully you guys can see that. All right. Let's see real quick. Ah, All right. Awesome sauce on that. You see the gratitudes up in there looking freaking yellowed out and stuff already. Okay, we got the mic right there. Let's just move. Let's just move them things. Let's just. All right, let's do it, baby. Let's do it. All right. How many are we doing? Doing 20, right? We're doing 20, right? Right? And we go diamond push up. Nah, I'm kidding. Chill. Let me not do it. All right, three, two, one, and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. I think that's twenty. Okay. Snap. I'm starting to shake already. Sheesh. All right. That's at least like twenty right there. So that's. That's the daily 20 right there, right? The daily 20 up in there. The daily 20 in the morning. I got to do some more later today. Not too bad, though. We're getting there. Definitely better than the summertime. I remember I could even hit, like, 15 without, like, dying. Not bad. <clears throat> Slower tempo with full out. Come on, BG. Solid. i like to see you do them. All right? Do ab challenge next. Shit, you guys are trying to make me sore already during the live? For next time, I'll slow it down, though. For next time, I'll slow it down a bit, but I got to do it quick. It's not no, it's not no workout stream. If you guys want to see some workout streams, you guys might have to... Uh, yeah, I might have to tap in on uh, BG Vibes workout sessions. Let's go. During the summertime, we were doing some workout sessions, too. That's to the 126 up in the building. <clears throat> Flex every rep, all 20 wasted. Oh, my gosh. Man, I'm about to do something crazy. I got you guys. Wait, wait till next, wait till tomorrow. I got you guys. We're going to do slowed out diamond push ups. All right. I got you. I got you. Take the slides off, says Evo Kid. Why? You guys don't mess with the slides? What's wrong with my slides? You guys don't do push up with slides on? I feel like I can't touch the toe on my. I gotta rock something on my feet for me to do like push-ups like that to begin with. 
Literally. I feel like if my toe is touching the ground of some sort, it's going to cause pain. No? I need either shoes or I need, a co like, I need like some type of slide. Hanging leg races, daily sit-ups, don't do it. What? The scissors? <clears throat> I got Cat Williams giving BG them hands. Man, I wouldn't even mess with Cat Williams like that, man. I like Cat Williams. I like him. He's real as they come, man. We have Coastal close up, um, close to that, BG, here in Ohio. It's at Cedar Point. Look up uh, Top Thrill Dragster. Top Thrill Dragster. Ooh, that's... Oh, that's just alike. That's almost the same thing. New coaster opening up. That's literally the same thing, but the baby version of things, right? 120 miles, two minutes long. Hey. Oh, that's why, though. It's a little bit slower, though, huh? Let's see this one. It's literally the same thing, but no spin, I feel like, no? BG, I need 100 burpees. Work your way up to add that five, uh, five more every week. That's what we're going to try, man. We're already going above 20 without without feeling too bad, you know? But that's what it's looking like. Uncharted Launch 101. Let's see real quick. Damn. That looks nice, but I feel like since I did King the Kyle already, this one's not going to be as good. It's literally the same thing. Literally the same thing, just a bit smaller, huh? I got McLovin giving BG them hands. Uh, family, come on now. We ain't trying to fight with no one. Not even McLovin. Why would I fight with McLovin? <clears throat> New cat got packed up by a teenager and tapped out fast, faster than Connor. What are you guys talking about? New pat. New cat. Cat got into a scuffle with someone? I have Top Star Collection open tomorrow. Uh, what's it like? Question mark. Is it hard to hit? Alex. All I got to say, it's first come, first serve, and a lot of people are getting in now. So it's going to be a little bit more. Get some starter weights, uh, some starter sand weights, BG. What are those, T Kennel? BG, can we get some squats with some good angle? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Y'all are crazy. Good morning. What's up, MP? That's in Cedar Point. I was thinking that when you played the other vid, the uh, the other coaster. Yeah, so... Since I did King the Call already, I think that would be like a somewhat of like a. So I, I'm gonna have to do something bigger and bigger and better. Alec, what's up, baby? Morning, BG. Alec, quick question. I'm curious. Alec, quick question. Now that I'm thinking about it, I did not see anything get delivered here. All right, but the Brooklyn location. Can you tell me the address of the Brooklyn location that I was that that I gave you? Because if it's not here, it could be at the P.O. Box at the Brooklyn location that my friend's at. So it could be that it got delivered over there, but I just didn't know about it. So that could be another reason. That's what I was thinking, but I even have a sign on the bottom that says, Do not deliver packages here. Like, have it for pickup, have it for sign up. Let me know, because if that's the case, then it, it might have gone delivered and I just have to pick it up. And I, yeah. Just giving you a heads up. What's up, Alec? Good morning, famo. It's the second grade weight set. Add water or sand. Oh, gosh. I'm going to see what I can buy for weights pretty soon, man. I already got a dumbbell. I need to do a little bit smaller, though, to work on my, uh, to work a bit more on my arms. Because 20, 20 dumbbells are pretty heavy for your boy. <clears throat> BG about to do hip thrust and, uh, glute bridges on stream now? I get, nah, definitely not. Definitely not, Bammo. Shout out to the 131 up in the building, fam. We got about a couple minutes left for top of the hour. Do you guys have stock numbers for the dunk lows for today or what's up? Thank you guys so much for following us up up in here as well, too. We're going to be going over. Hold up. Ooh, okay, hold up. Thank you so much. There we go. God, Lee. Bro, SK, if you're up in here, if you're hearing me out, bro, bro, that's a lot, bro. Holy. I, yo, SK just told me how much he spent on the SB, uh, on the sale fours. I can't believe it right now, bro. I can't even say much. I'm not saying much. I ain't going to say nothing. 
that's wow. Wow, 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 wow. SK, holy. <laughs> holy, that made me sneeze just now. All right, family. Uh, we got about 134,000. All right, from what it seems like, we got 134,879 pairs going down for today, okay, for the Dunk Lows on Sneakers app. Um, it's going to be a women's release up in here, so we're going we gonna to see... We're going to see some women's sizes up in here. Um, it's like a cool gray version of things for a dunk low. Nothing too crazy, but it does go very well with almost everything, if I say so myself. It is a gray and white colorway. Can't go wrong with that one. Um, you guys can let me know. Are these a cop or a drop? Uh, my Kobe hoodie is already going to be delivered today. Crazy, says Alex. Sheesh. Uh, let me see. Doesn't matter to me, BG. I'm sending uh, the other one this week. It was 40, so I don't really care. No, I know, Alec, but just in case, why, you keep that one. I just want to know just in case so I can like hit him up and be like, yo, did you get anything? And then I can pick it up. Because if I did give you the other one, which is awesome, um, I'm pretty sure it's there. I'm pretty sure it's there. I felt some type of way. Believe it or not, I'm like, damn, like I felt bad. I feel bad that you guys do some nice, uh, some nice things and it doesn't end up you know, happening. Uh, BG, visit to the, uh, visit to the gym could get you views with comedy bits, says T-Kennel. It could, but I don't think I'm on that type of timing, man. BG on the thigh master type of timing? Oh my gosh. I don't even need that. Well, actually, I gotta tone up my legs for sure. Gotta tone up. You guys said I got chicken legs now. Before, I used to have, like, Sasquatch. 45, easy to do. 45 is easy to do. Nah, I said that's how much they, uh, they want, uh. They want on go. I was asking how much you would pay. Oh yeah, no, not that price, bro. Ooh, Alec, 59th Street. Oh, so then we're good. I gotta tap in then. I gotta tap in then. If it's 59th Street, we're good. I'll let you know. I'll let you know. Don't have to send that second. If it's 59th Street, we're good. God, geez, God is good. God is good. I gave you guys the PO address to Brooklyn. I'm over here thinking you sent it to this location. We're good. If it's 59th Street, we should be good. You don't have to send it. If it, I'll, I'll double check today. I'll double check today or tomorrow. Um, I'll pick it up today, if anything. That's good, though. If it's 59th Street, we're good. So it seems like Alec, Alec is, is on the clear. Alec didn't just send it. We're good, man. BG, are you sore from the 20 push-ups? Question mark. Yeah, I do feel it, man. I do feel it. Unless you guys want me to go at it strong again. Y'all think I can't do it twice? Man, if I do it twice back-to-back -back 20, I think that would be really good. Eddie says, oh, snap. BG, um, was one hell of a miss. You let oh, this. Oh, Triple H style is crazy. So basically, when I sneeze, I look like Triple H spitting off the water. I... When he was like in the ring, that's crazy. Hey, speaking of which, are you guys gonna watch Royal Rumble for uh, WWE? WWE Royal Rumble coming up soon, man. You guys got The Rock coming back. You guys got CM Punk back. There's a lot of stuff going on, man. <laughs> Full pump. I don't know if I can go slow though this time around. <laughs> you guys are trying to see me break on stream, man. Alec, we should be good, bro. We should be good. I'm gonna call up. I'm gonna call up my good friend of mine, because that's where the PO box. But if it's 59th Street, we should be on the clear, bro. That's what I'm saying, man. We should be on the clear. You guys think I was gonna let you guys slide like that? Uh-uh, baby. We got you. We got you, baby. Um, just for next time, make sure you run it up with uh, tracking, man. Uh, me and the kids going to SmackDown Friday before Rumble. That's awesome, bro. It's going to be a nice treat for you guys. Stacking, what's up? Yup. SK says, I paid $2,050 for Off-White 4s. Holy. That's pricey. But, man, if you guys are digging that, man, go after it strong with your, uh, I mean, it is a size 13, man. It is a size 13. So size 13s are extremely expensive. BG shares about his workout. Go drink your protein shake, fam. I don't have protein shakes, man. I just go at it strong with good meals with protein in them. That's about it. I feel like the protein shakes are going to get me fat, family. That's what I feel like. I feel like protein shakes are like, like when I drink them, they don't get me like stuffed or like they don't make me feel full. They make me, it's like something to just add on 
to the, the food, which might not be good. Because too much of protein or too much of those shakes will give you guys that gut. Um, unless you're not working hard enough, then most likely it. BG, do 10 push-ups with the three-second pause at the bottom of each push-up. <sighs> nah, that's tough. His fried, um, his fried didn't say anything yet, question mark. Oh, yeah, he rocking that beanie. Run, nah, definitely not, man. He's been, he's been my go-to for the P.O. boxes. That's the same guy, too. I keep telling you guys, don't be sending some crazy stuff, family, because he's an op, man. My boy Stroll, my boy Stroll, he's, he's an NYPD officer, so better not send anything crazy, man. Uh, my blood type R says CM Punk, Randy Orton, and The Rock returning the, um, is ruining LA Knight's push. Shake my head. Oh, snap. You guys are a fan of LA Knight? Um, well, yeah, that's a lot of stuff, man. I mean, WrestleMania is coming up. It's the road to WrestleMania is going to come, uh, come through very soon, man. After, once Royal Rumble hits, it's the road, it's the road to WrestleMania, so. CM Punk, Randy Orton. I was thinking that, uh, The Rock was, uh, ruining CM Punk's, uh, push to WrestleMania, to be honest. Isn't that the main reason why he tapped out anyways? Because he felt like people were taking away his WrestleMania moment. But it seems like... I don't know what The Rock is going to be doing for WrestleMania. If he is going to stay through. <laughs> Maybe he'll stay on for a couple of pay-per-views and then tap out. And then CM Punk will take over. But it's kind of crazy. That's a lot. What's the stock... Uh, yeah, so for Stocky Stock family, let me read out the Stocky Stock for you guys. In case you guys haven't heard. We got about 15 minutes left for Stock Count. Okay. You guys got a size women's five, 1,987 pairs going down. Women's five and a half, 2,743 pairs, okay? Uh, a women's six, 6,000, all right, 6,893. Let me just listen to some music. Hold on. I'm listening to music at the same time because I'm like so stuck up on this one song. It's called, um, it's called Get Didi by... Fabio and 41, um, 41 and Kyle Rich. Um, but anyways, uh, women's six, 6,893. Women's six and a half, 7,354. Women's seven, uh, 13,840 pairs going down. Women's seven and a half, one, uh, we got, let's see, 12,612 pairs going down. Women's eight, we got 100, nope, that's not 100. That's 15,508 pairs going down. Women's eight and a half. 11,147, women's nine, 10,054, uh, pairs going down, women's nine and a half, 6,902, women's 10, 4,930, uh, women's 10 and a half, 7,979, women's 11, 6,020, women's 11 and a half, uh, 10,650, uh, you guys got women's 12, 6,765, women's 12 and a half, 4,100, Women's 13, 1,675. Women's 13 and a half, 1,715. Women's 14, 720. Women's 14 and a half, 795. And women's 15 and a half, 490. That's what stock is looking like for today, famo. Let me talk to you. Yep. Yeah. yeah. No, nah, I can't do it, man. Actually, you know what they say, Evil Kid? They say that LA Knight sounds like The Rock, low key. BG, slow going down with pause in the bottom and pa. And pa. What do you mean by that, Solid? For push-ups or what? WEF Attitude Era was the best. Oh, I mean, I wasn't there too long to even tap in. I've seen just highlights, and it seemed like it was just a different vibe. I used to play SmackDown back in the PlayStation 2 console, um, and it looked like it was dope back then, bro. Fear 3's men's shoe size, 9.5 slash women's 11 quality, one original price, 210. Sale for 157. Where at, George? <clears throat> Rock is wrestling um, at the 70K Stadium show overseas in February, not Mania. Inter is that? What's that show? What's that pay-per-view? That's against Roman Reigns, no? Isn't that the next upcoming drop, uh, the next upcoming fight? You really went through these stock numbers, huh? Yeah, why not? All of them can get the love for it, man. All of them can get the love for it, man. You guys telling me that you guys wouldn't want me to read these stock numbers from top to bottom? What if you guys are a size 15 and a half? What if it was dope, BG? Was it? Was it? What if you guys were a size 15 and a half and you guys kept on asking each and every single day, yo, what's for that 15 and a half? Well, no need for that, man. That's what we got it right here for you guys. We'll read it up. 
If you guys don't mind, can you guys smash that like button? We'll see if we can get it up to 100 likes real quick. I'm going to see if there's anything else that's going to be for top of the hour. But before we do anything, I think someone mentioned something about Travis Scott's uh, family. So from what we've been hearing, all right, I've seen some posts up in there that's been talking about stock numbers for Travis Scott's this year, uh, for the Canaries, right, for the Elkins colorway. Let me see if I can pop this up for you guys. You guys got streetwear stock market up in there tapping in for the one time all right and then you guys seen the short that i dropped you guys on tiktok right and here you guys go man it seems like we got the biggest stock for some good old canary yellow elk game colorway jordan one travis scott's um coming up right around two hundred thousand for this drop what are you guys are thinking up in here is this a good thing a bad thing um, you guys think that it's still going to be a toughie. How are you guys feeling about the colorway as of right now? If we compare and contrast uh, some of the drops that we've seen before with the Travis Scott Jordan 1 lows, um, it seems like this one would be a good amount in comparison to the other ones that we've seen. But again, since it is a Travis Scott, it shouldn't be too easy. It shouldn't be easy at all, actually. But um, you guys let me know in the chat. Have you guys heard anything? How do you guys feel about this stock count right here? If there were to be, again, it's pretty early right now to, uh, to tap in with, but this is the closest thing that we got going on for stock for uh, Travis Scott's as of right now. BG, what would you take on, uh, would you take on vacation to Europe? It'll be cold. Uh, what would you take on a vacation to Europe? Um, I would just say a parka, a scarf maybe, uh, a face mask, um, a beanie definitely, and just run it up with some sweatpants and a lot of heavy duty hoodies that's all i gotta say that's what i would do warriors rams colorways the laney colorway perhaps good morning bro blessings matthew what's up blessings on blessings baby um in my view uh cheapest looking travis guy i've seen dot 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 trash now what if t kennel right what if what if the stock count is somewhat accurate right it's somewhat accurate and the main reason why they're popping up this colorway as much as they are is because it's somewhat of a, you know, somewhat one of those colorways that they say, screw it, let's make this one and let's see how it goes. We'll make a ton of stock since they know it's a Travis Scott release, it'll sell. And um, people will end up just buying it because of the stock, the amount of stock that there will be. You feel me? I feel like a lot of people have been taking L's on Travis Scott's, no doubt about that. And then when they see that, then we see a colorway like this that they feel like it's less light, they'll most likely hit on. They make a ton of those pairs and just run it up that way. But I don't know. I feel like I, I wouldn't be surprised if they if this one out of them all ends up being the most stocked up. Because it's most likely gonna be one of those that people are not so much not so much tapping in with as much. Don't start with the what if, da da da, please. I'm just saying it would make sense for them to make the, probably the least favored Travis Scott up for grabs for just everyone a cop. Well, not everyone a cop, but more more people, more more stock for them for uh for them to unload. One thing about Travis till close to release, you're right. We still got plenty of time. It's still early. 200k stock will most uh still most will take L's yeah it's not it's not too many no matter what no matter what with Travis Scott Jordan one lows I think it's still gonna be a flat out sellout whether it's 200k 300k 400k 500k even I still feel like it's gonna be a sellout I still feel like it would be a sellout <laughs> we got some GRs that are on that type of timing right now like a Brett for reimagine and those are still gonna be sellouts no matter what type of stock there will be. And Travis is still running up the games, man. If you guys see that that sneakers app, that sneakers app poll, the best, I mean, I wouldn't say the best, but the most popular, I wouldn't even say uh, the most entries for some of these releases were Travis Scott's, man, and they were in that in that olive and that golf um in that golf uh, type of timing. They were like number one and number two. Number one being the olives right here, and then number two being the golfs, if I'm not mistaken. Good morning, BG and BG family. What's up, Chris? How you feeling? Ugly colorway? I wouldn't call it ugly, though. I wouldn't call it ugly. 
Big Bird, Big Bird looking ass Travis. Oh my god. You mean with Travis Scott, Jordan Love resale, it will be a sellout. Just Travis Scott hype, just that reverse whoosh alone. Dunzo. Jesse, what's up? The Nestle Quick Jordan Low ones. The only thing that's missing is the pink, no? The Nestle, Nestle Nest Quick, the Nest Quick Jordan One Lows. Lol, he believes the polls. You guys think they fake the polls, family? Travis is still king when it comes down to the numbers for the uh, for shoes. Looks like an 80s Nike colorway. Trash, as T. Kenham. Anybody else agree or disagree? Let me see. Ah, here's one. Riley, what's up? Riley Higgins up in the building. Uh, so they make the ugliest pair that have the highest stock of any. Great, LOL. It's, I don't know if it's going to be the most, the most ugliest pair. Again, wait, would you guys pop it up as the ugliest pair out of them all? I don't know, man. I'll, I would probably pop up, ah, damn, that's tough. It might, it's just, I wasn't so much of a fan of olives like that in comparison to the other ones. I don't know if I like, I'm like thinking, I'm like thinking, do I like the Elkins more than the olives from last year or what? They're about the same for me, low key. They're about the same for me. I wasn't so much of a fan. I liked them, but I wasn't a fan as much as I was with the reverses or the mochas, you know? But they were still up there. They're still a nice looking shoe, though. Easily just look. Stands out like the sun. I, I gotta see him, like, I gotta see more early review. I gotta see him more. I oh, don't know. I felt like I've seen some of those images and I kind of like them. People will probably say switch up and say it's one of the better ones because it's different, says Mark. Again, I feel like I in the video that I dropped uh, yesterday, I spoke about it. I feel like I don't know if it's like just early hate. Or something like that, but maybe who knows? Maybe by the time it hits that that time uh, for them to go live, all of a sudden, people start growing on them. People start liking them. All of a sudden, it ends up being one of the nicer ones of them all. But no doubt about the black olives being top tier. No doubt about the black olives. I know that these might be a little fifty fifty for some of you guys, but black olives for sure would be one of the nicer ones. Black Olives for sure will go over Olives and the Golfs from last year. For sure, without a doubt. I, I would pop them up as. I think the Black Olives would be 10 times better than the, uh, than the Phantoms as well, too. I would pop up. Now, I think I would pop up the Black Olives over the over the Frags. I think I will pop up the, the, uh, the Black Olives over the Frags. But that could be just me. Because I know a lot of you guys think that the Frags are the best ones out of them all. Already said I like them. Look like the reverse Laney's colorway. I'll cop. They give Laney vibes. Clean in my opinion. Ex yeah, that's what I was saying to myself as well too. I was like, this colorway has a lot of resemblance to the Laney's cause just because of the blue and yellow. When are they dropping? They're dropping this year. I don't know if I heard something about the summer. Did I hear about summer vibes or what's up? Did we hear summer for uh, Travis Scott's? Problem is we're trying to convince or change minds most of the time. These uh, could go for those who can rock them. <laughs> Eugene sent summer vibes. Uh, still wish I had the frags. Me too. Me too. I like the frags. I like the frags now that I uh, now that I don't have them. Now that I don't have them, we got about two minutes left, family. We got about two minutes left for this live cop to go down. If you guys are curious of what's going to be going live right now, copy and paste this bad boy for you guys. I believe queue up for the twos. Queue up for the twos. Oh, that's right. 
You guys got cool, great football, great dunk lows, and then you guys got the twos going down as of right now as well, too, family. E dot, what's up? Looks like a summer vibe. Summer shoe for show. Dunks are dropping in one minute. Yes, they are, family. Thank you so much for the reminder. I dropped you guys the link right there if you guys do need it. Let me know in the chat. Does my link work though? Like, if you guys, if you guys see your boy BG dropping a link, does it work? Can you guys click on it and get to it? Because sometimes it doesn't pop up as a link. Shout out to the 91 likes up in the bullet. Family, we just need nine more likes to reach the 100 likes. Can you, might, can you guys do me the honors and favor and getting it up to 100 likes, baby? All I know is that I'm going to waste my time trying to cop those Travis Scotts. Don't say that, fam. If there is going to be more stock, who who knows? I The Ikea Travis's is crazy. You got the Ikea Travis Scott Jordan 1's coming out soon. But I think I heard something about summer 2024. I think. Could be mistaken. We'll keep you guys alerted more. And while we're at it strong, since you guys are all up in here, man, we have been going crazy on TikTok. We've been dropping we've been dropping every freaking day, and our TikTok family is growing. Our goal for TikTok for this year is to hit 1,000 followers so we can start going live on TikTok. Um, at the same time with, uh, with uh, YouTube streams. So I think when it comes down to it, my goal for TikTok in general is just to hit 1,000 up in there. I think if we hit 1,000, that would be a huge come up for us for TikTok. And if we can start going live for sneaker content for TikTok as well too, that would go crazy. Um, while we're here, if you guys don't mind, here is my TikTok. All right, make sure you guys follow it up. All right, here is our TikTok. I like to call it ours because we are doing things together up in here. So that's our TikTok right there. If you guys don't mind, hit us with that follow. Literally, the goal for this year for TikTok is just to hit 1,000. If we can surpass a thousand, that would be like plus more and some change. Like that would be crazy, but that's our goal for this year. Just hitting one thousand, but baby, baby steps, baby steps up in this thing. Um, it would be awesome. If I can, if you stop uh, calling me baby BG, oh, oh my gosh, I'm sorry, famo Jojo, I'm so sorry. If if you can stop calling me baby BG, I'm I'm my apologies, famo Dunk is live. Dunk is live, famo um, let's see. I like those blue and yellow Travis Scott's first pair. I hope I hit on says Renee. There's no reason we shouldn't be over 100 likes right now. Everybody go hit that like button. It's seconds to do. Thank you guys so much. Three more likes real quick, famo. BG, if the fam can get 1k in the uh, TikTok, would you do a hot chip challenge there? No hot chip challenge because that's going to make me throw up. That's going to almost get my body to overreact. Put me, put, snap. I don't know what I would do for it. Yeah, I don't know. BG going uh going hard this year. Yo, family, we are, man. Different year, different timing, man. How do I uh how do I attach my account to our TikTok? says Curtis. Well, the thing is, family, is that anything that I do up in here, I feel like it's us. So that's how I attach it to you guys, man. I feel like it's not just me, man. It's the family, man. Use your phone to go live on TikTok and laptop for YouTube. A lot of streamers do it, BG. Yeah, that's exactly what I plan on doing, man. That's what we got two phones for, one for work and one for the personal. The work phone could be for TikTok purposes and going live on there and just flat out doing all that good, good. And then we, we got the streams we're up in here. It'll be perfect. It'll be perfect. Um, Jay, what's up? Jojo, what's up? MP, what's up? SK, what's up, baby? I think I heard that once it scared me, um, even though I'm just a regular guy with nothing important on my phone. What, TikTok and China and vibes and like, I don't know what's going on with that, but I'm taking the risk. If anything, don't make the TikTok if you guys don't don't want it to happen. I'll take, I'll take the risk of getting hacked and all that good, good. Leave it up to me. Let, let your boy BG deal with that. Don't do anything. I'll do it for you guys. If I get hacked, oh gosh. Chip squirts. Uh, you can call me baby anytime, BG. Just uh, clean up the hair, pa. LOL. Oh, my gosh. Hey, um, let's see. What up with them Travis's, G? With them Travis, G? Not much, man. Just we got some updated stock, which is somewhere around 200K rumored to be, that is. Uh, we got the queue up for finish line. And then anybody here pending for some cool, great dunk lows? Let me know in the chat. And if you guys don't mess with TikTok, that's perfectly fine, man. That's perfectly fine. You guys never have to do anything if you guys don't want to. That's if you guys are in the TikTok family up in there. I don't mind. I'll still try to drop you guys as much as possible up in here as well, too, on YouTube. 
we're going at it strong within all platforms. Now we're just going to have to work on uh, Twitter. Twitter and threads. But we're trying to be active at, at all times, man. BG, Fear 3 is good for resale. Fear 3 is definitely not, fam. We got to go at it strong tomorrow for Top Star Fam. Oh, yes, you guys do. Best of luck on that, man. We'll be live. I don't know if I'll be live on BG Kicks, but maybe we'll be live for you guys on BG Vibes for Top Star. I'm going to try. T Kendall says, I watch YouTube shorts. Perfect. I usually get all my TikTok shorts from um, uh, to YouTube anyways, so we'll be good. Matter of fact, I have to do a TikTok for you guys later on today, man. Yep, yep, yep. I'm getting Friday dunks. There we go. When? When? Just the name TikTok kept me away. I'm pretty sure TikTok was musically before, wasn't it? Run up a push up short for comments, says uh, T Kennel. But it's got to be sneaker related, though. What's dropping on JD? Evil Kid, we got the Jordan 2s dropping on uh, JD and Finish Line. Jordan 2s, that's the launch for today. That's the queue up for today. Shout out to the family on keeping us informed on that one. There you guys go. If you guys want these bad boys, here you guys go. Here you guys go. Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday. Okay. Um, family, if I drop, do you guys see that finish line link? Yes or no? Can you guys drop yes in the chat if you guys see that finish line link? Check this out. I dropped you guys this finish line link right here. Can you guys click on it and see it? I got to know if the links are working on the on the YouTube streams. Yo, do you know when the four reimagines are dropping? Question mark. Joey's RC Life. What's going on, baby? No hello, no good morning, huh? Just straight to the point. I like it. I love it. Um, family, if we are anticipating any type of charge up, it should be by the end of this month. Now, whenever I do get the confirmed date, I will drop you guys a video. Everyone up in here, you guys have to smash that bell icon. If you guys want to know about the shot drop alerts, everyone up in here has got to smash that bell icon because whenever I do figure it out, I'll drop it within that same day, within most likely that same hour frame, within most likely within a couple of minutes once it gets confirmed. So make sure you guys all hit that bell icon if you guys really want to know about it. Because whenever I do figure out that exact date, I'll pop it up. Uh, BG, you like my new profile pic, man? I love you guys having us up as Miles Morales up in there, baby. I love it. I love it. If you guys got any pictures of your boy BG as the Grinch, Miles Morales, um, anything funny-wise, maybe BG with just a stash of some sort, um, I appreciate y'all, man. I appreciate y'all, man. That shows support, man. That shows the family is growing. That shows... All the good memories that we got going on up in here for the streams. And we're going to see if we can keep on making some good memories too, man. I'm, I'm trying to see what we can do for each and every single big live cop to, you know, spice it up a bit and stuff. Um, Joey said, good morning, fam. Oh, it's too late now, Joey. It's too late. It's too late. It's a bad morning. And I'm just kidding, fam. I'm just teasing you, bro. Uh, yeah, bro. When, whenever I do figure it out, I'll let you guys know. As of right now, it's just a flat out. We're just, um, we're just going off of our past releases and we're thinking that it's going to be probably by the end of this month or early month of february the early the early week of february first week of february most likely drew collins what's up i'm hella new to the sneaker jobs and how um how they work so if i ask dumb questions it's because i have a um i have a handicap no you're good man you're good it's perfectly fine if you guys are new if it's perfectly fine to ask questions if needed man the only thing that you guys can do that's dumb is not ask a question so ask all those Dumb questions that you guys may have, man. That's what we're here for. I have a profile pic of you making a goofy face when you froze on your McDonald's Wi-Fi, says Renee. You can add that one, too. We all get the love and support. Everyone can get the love. Everyone can get the loving up in here, man. Everyone. I can't wait. I can't wait till I see you guys in person. We can crack these jokes. Crack these, <laughs> these jokes. Huh? Your boy BG always be struggling with McDonald's Wi-Fi, man. But it's been going pretty good, man. You guys can't complain. McDonald's Wi-Fi has been bumping up their Wi-Fi. Uh, BG, you should do a New Year's goal, and if you don't complete it by December, we get, uh, we gotta pick your Christmas costume, says Mario. Dude, I'm down for that. I wouldn't mind. I will love, I will love that. Let's make it happen, but I don't know if I want to pop up a goal for the, for the streams, though. I feel like it's a lot of pressure. Do you guys ever feel like if you guys make a goal, it's a lot of pressure to have? I feel like it's, it's best to not even 
not even to have a goal and just run it up. Just like let 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 the wheel fly. Like let the wheel roll and then see how it goes. Thoughts on the cut the checks? Um, I'm ready to see something new go down. So I'll be going for it and we'll see how that goes. How about yourself? How do you feel about them? I mean, most info is everywhere. It is everywhere, family. It is everywhere. BG, why you got a curly suit cut? That's because I haven't had a haircut. Literally. The only thing I've had was a shape up. Shape up. I'm just letting my curly suit be a curly suit. I think the girls kind of like it. Are we getting your braids? I don't know, Armando. I'm still waiting for a coworker of mine to see what, what the vibes are. Maybe Caitlin will end up doing my braids. But if not, I got to go to Jersey to get them things because it's too expensive up here. Your temper has changed. Um, your temper has changed. You used to get upset when people asked the same questions. Brian is growing up. Says MP, you guys think so? I feel like I've always been pretty nice and neat when it comes down to questions. Like, have I ever been mean to you guys? Have I ever been like a like a annoyed person by you guys? Like, have I ever? Have you guys ever seen your boy BG? Other than the only person that got me to the point where I'm like, no, you cannot do that was George, and I remember this. And it was during the summertime, he was speaking about someone in a certain way. And I'm like, no, that cannot fly. Because if you, if you guys get used to that, then that will be really bad. And I was like, no, you cannot do that. You cannot do that. And I remember because George is probably one of the few people that say crazy stuff up in here. But other than that, I feel like I've been pretty good. Like being patient or just flat out just not taking you guys as serious um, with some of the things that you guys say. I think so, at least. I think so, at least. Um, I see the Grinch emoji. Did you cop the Adidas Grinch shoes this year? No, I didn't. Um, Adidas and your boy BG don't really work well together, man. I don't know. The only thing that I can see myself liking about Adidas as of late would probably be... I know I used to diss on them, but AE1s are looking pretty neat now. Have you guys seen the Stormtrooper AE1s? They look pretty nice. But that's for, like, basketball perspective of things. Like, that's because I play ball and I like seeing, like, on-ball, on-court shoes. BG used to block people left and right. Yep, you're the biggest bully streamer ever, little JK. Hell no, we troll you all day. Bro, you cool as heck. Oh, I appreciate you guys, man. I'm tapping out. Gotta get ready for work. See you later, bro. Take care, R. I'll see you there. I'll see you there. BG, get on my nerves all, every day. And shout out to SK2, man. He's been a, a huge, a huge supporter up in there, too. I, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but there was, like, a genuine moment where he was speaking about your boy BG. That meant a lot, bro. That meant a lot. Good morning, BG. I'm not sure if it was mentioned, but the Kobe t-shirt is showing back in stock, says Project Chris. So for the Kobe t-shirt, I didn't really see it sell out, though, Project Chris. I didn't see that Kobe t-shirt sell out. If you guys want to see that t-shirt... Oops, sorry about that. I think the only thing that sat was this bad boy, wasn't it? Here, if you guys want a Kobe T, here you guys go. It's the only thing that sat. I think the main eyes on the prizes were those the the hoodie, especially that black one. BG put Daytona on timeout. Nah, Daytona. All jokes aside, like when you guys see people that I block on the regular regular basis, which very few of you guys. Probably Daytona is the only guy that I do it. That's just that's just like meant like that's just jokes. That's just like nothing taken up with series. It's beautiful to see how much the, the community has grown though. It's really pretty cool on that one. OG, what's up, baby? Um But family, I think we're gonna leave it at here. Um I'm gonna see what, real quick what we can do for BG Vibes pretty soon. I'm gonna run up some nice little UFC on BG Vibes. Um, and see how that goes. I'm going to see if I can make some content for you guys for TikTok as well, too, to see if I can pop them up for you guys for 12 o'clock. So stay tuned. We'll drop you guys some info, or we'll drop you guys some type of post very soon. Uh, stay tuned for that. But I think that's it, man. I think that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the stream. We're going to be back on tomorrow morning for some nice little restocks of any sorts. Maybe some more EA for, uh, for finish on JD. And then we'll see what else. I think tomorrow's the 11th. Right? Yeah, tomorrow's the 11th, so let's see what's going on for the 11th. Again, if there's anything that goes up... Yeah, tomorrow's quiet. Tomorrow's the 11th, so we'll see what's going to go down for the 11th. Um, 
But yeah, this week is flying by, man. It's freaking hump day. So just try to get your humps together and happy hump day, baby. Happy hump day. Um, I love you guys, all right? Take care. I'll see you guys on BG Vibes. I'll, I'll go live on BG Vibes within like maybe like an hour frame or so, okay? Um, dunks are dying, BG. Yeah. Dunks are not as hyped up as it was unless they're SBs. Uh, let's see. But yeah, family. I appreciate you guys, man. I'll see you guys on the next one, all right? Seems like there's not much going down. I love you guys, all right? I love you guys. I'm out, family. I'll see you guys on Vibes. I'm out. I'm out, family. Bye. Hey. Hey. Hey.